return of the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. I'm not at my desk at the moment. Um, as I said at the beginning, uh, the broadcasts are going to cover a variety of topics and involve a uh, discussion with a variety of different barristers and different issues. And today uh, I'd like to introduce another member of our value team and ask them to talk about what they're doing today. Over to you. Hello everyone, I'm Kalisha Mitaram, one of the barristers at Imperium Chambers. I'm working on a child contact proceedings um, today. What's interesting is that I am, do not represent the mother, I represent the father. And this case has an underlying immigration issue in that the father does not have leave to remain in the UK. Now, that's strange because usually um, watching television and watching the news and reading the newspapers, it, it, it's the woman that's the victim and we, 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 we see uh, cases of domestic violence and, and obviously it's to be abhorred. We see cases where um, the women uh, suffer uh, and where the women are thrown out of the house and, and it's often uh, the public perception is that, it, that it's the woman that is the victim. Well they are often the victim and ultimately the children are the victims but um, single dads are often called uh, silent victims. So you'd be surprised Paul that in 2019 when it comes to mothers and fathers' rights they do not have equal rights when it comes to child contact proceedings um, in the UK. Um, and um, that's worsened often when the father does not have right to remain in the UK. So the, fa the parent, the dad, does not know whether he has the right to contact the child or whether he can go to court. They're often scared. They don't know. And that's made worse when they go to court. They are not legally aided, whereas the mother is legally aided. They have to often privately fund their own proceedings. They don't have the right to be here, they don't have the right to work, they don't have any funds. Now, you're a, a busy practitioner. What, in your experience, is the attitude of the courts in these circumstances? Um, I, I, I found that CAFCAS and um, the courts do not seem to be well aware of the immigration rules. And they'll make decisions or they make recommendations that will affect the fathers and ultimately the children. Now, this is clearly a serious issue and one that we at Imperium Chambers seek to address. You've heard an expert lawyer, one that specialises in this field, give you a very short introduction and her views on this matter. If you have an immigration problem, if you have a family problem, or if you have an immigration problem that has a family aspect to it, please do not hesitate to contact us at Imperium Chambers on 0207 242 3488 or clerks at Imperium Chambers. This has been Paul Turner and Carisha Maitaram at Imperium Chambers. Thank you very much for listening. Like and subscribe at imperiumchambers.co.uk.